big band. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Don't make me come over there. There's very little that I can add to say about the champ that he hasn't already said himself. And tonight I'd like to pay tribute to this man who is a hero of mine and many others with a piece that I wrote and last performed in 1980. And when the champ called me to come tonight, I had to do it. And I'd love to do it for you now. It's called 15 Rounds. Hello once again, everyone. The name is Howard Cosell. We're awaiting the arrival home of young 18-year-old Cassius Marcellus Clay. The young man who at the recent 1960 Rome Olympiad, right there, shocked and amused the world with his boxing ability and braggadocio, if you will. Here he is now. He's only 18 years of age. Catch, do you plan to turn professional? <laughs> yes, I do, Mr. Cosell. You see, nobody's ever seen nothing like me. I'm so fast and so pretty. <laughs> I'm so fast I can play ping pong by myself. And I'm predicting to you in that bad toupee that someday I'm going to gain 30 pounds and become the heavyweight champion of the world. Sonny Liston's not coming out. Incredibly young Cassius Clay, just as he predicted to this reporter four short years ago, has knocked out the man he called the Big Ugly Bear and become the new heavyweight champion of the world. I am the greatest. I am the greatest. I am Muhammad Ali. I will never be known as Cassius Clay again. Cassius Clay is a slave's name. I'm now a disciple of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I'm now a black Muslim minister. I am now Muhammad Ali. In the top of the news today, the eyes of the sports world focused on Houston, Texas, where heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali, also known as Cassius Clay, is expected today to refuse military induction on the grounds of being a religious, conscientious objective. In other news, the Vietnam buildup continues today. I will not fight in this war, Howard. I ain't got no quarrel against no Viet Cong. This war is an unjust war. I cannot, I will not fight. Step forward when I call your name, please. Step forward when I call your name, please. Cassius Clay. Cassius Clay. Gentlemen, please, I have a brief statement. As Commissioner of the New York Boxing Association, we are issuing the following proclamation. A few hours ago, heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali, also known as Cassius Clay, refused military induction. We are hereby stripping him of the heavyweight title. Now, 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 please. The State Department is also revoking his passport. Therefore, he will not be licensed to fight any place in the world, including exhibitions. Today, June 20th, 1967, a sad day for us all. Ali today, convicted of draft evasion, fined $10,000, sentenced to five years in prison. There will be an appeal. For three and a half years, I couldn't fight. My best years, my prime years, man, my great years. Three and a half years, my 26, 27, 28, 29 and a half years old, you know, my best years. But then, out of nowhere, the state of Georgia, 1970, give me a title, license to come back and fight Jerry Quarry. Ugly Jerry Quarry. <laughs> he's, he's ugly. He got cut at the way in. <laughs> and I couldn't wait. Three rounds, boom, knock him out. Then I go to Madison Square Garden, New York City. Oscar Bonavane is big, it's awkward. He comes from Argentina. And 15 rounds, I go, 15 rounds, boom, left hook, knock that sucker out. And now Joe Fraser's the champion. I want Joe Fraser. The winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Razor! I still think I won. <laughs> now I guess I gotta start all over again. Today, vindication. Ali's conviction for draft evasion today overturned by the United States Supreme Court by an eight to nothing vote. Ali was right. It is indeed an unjust war. Howard, I'm free. I'm free at last. Now I can start over again, become the heavyweight champion again. Yesterday, an unknown heavyweight from San Diego, California, an unheralded Marine named Ken Norton, defeated Muhammad Ali and in so doing broke the ex-champion's jaw. 
Ali fighting 11 rounds with a severely damaged mandible. I'm in the hospital now with Ali. His jaws are wired shut. Perhaps poetic justice. <laughs> but more importantly, at the age of 33, have we seen the last of the great one. Muhammad, is this the end of the line for you? No, my father, no way. Even though the jaws are wired shut, I can hear pretty good. I'm still pretty. Isn't that pretty, Howard? I got messed up a little bit, Howard. I can come back. You don't think I can come back? You and that bad thing sitting on top of your head. You don't think I can come back, huh? Well, I can't come back. All I gotta do is start all over again. George Foreman is down, incredibly, here in Zaire, Africa, halfway around the world. Ali, at the age of 33, has knocked out a seemingly invincible George Foreman in the eighth round and become only the second man ever to regain the heavyweight title. An incredible upset. Who tell you, Trump? I told you I was the greatest. October 1, 1975, Manila, the Philippines, Pearl of the South Pacific. Ali Frazier, the third time around. Frazier, unable to answer the bell for the 15th round. The thriller in Manila. This was not boxing. This was a war. A big piece of Ali remained in that ring. I fought everybody. Everybody that wants to fight me, I fought. I didn't duck nobody. I was colorful. I predicted the rounds. I was bigger than boxing. My fights were seen all over the world. I fought Joe Fraser three times. I fought Ken Norton three times and sat through Mandingo twice. <laughs> I was tough enough to find any shavers. I was bigger than... Every place I go, they know me. I go to Bangladesh, they yell Ali. I go to Africa, they yell Ali Bombay. I go to Russia, I seen Brezhnev in person. Carter couldn't get him on the phone. <laughs> I'm 36 years of age. I'm still fair. I'm 36, still pretty. Ain't that some 36 years of age looking like me? And they say that I'm slowing down. Hell, I'm still so fast. I can turn out the lights in my bedroom, be in the bed before the room gets dark. <laughs> the only thing that can whip me now is Father Time. It's over. Young Leon Spinks with only eight professional fights. As decision is seemingly aging Muhammad Ali here in Las Vegas, an incredible upset. So much like the young Gaseous Clay. 14 years ago in that ring in Miami Beach. The champ is dead. Long live the champ. He surprised me, that Sphinx. You know, I guess that's the only thing that I can tell you, Howard, about that fight. You know, I didn't train like I want to train, you know, didn't do the things in the ring that I wanted to do. You know, I just gave up too much. I gave the ugly sucker the first seven rounds, and I tried to come back. He beat me. <laughs> oh, Leon. They took away his driver's license. He walked into a telephone pole. Everybody's saying to me now, they're saying, hey, champ, you know, you must feel bad that you ain't no champ no more, you know? But, you know, you lost to some kid who looked like he had a train run through his face. And I say, hey, man, I ain't got nothing to be sorry about. You see, everybody in life suffers a loss. It's the one who can overcome the loss and make a success of himself that's really doing something with his life. As I look back over my career, I was heavyweight champion 14 years ago, man. Ain't that something? 14 years ago. I've had a great life. Allah's been good to me. 59 professional fights, made a lot of money, got beautiful kids, great family. I got everything to look forward to. But something's eating at me. I don't want to go out losing to no Leon Sbinks with eight professional fights. I don't want to be remembered as being out of shape in that ring of Las Vegas. I want him one more time. Now I'm gonna do it. I'm 36 years age, my body's tired, I don't like training very much, but starting tomorrow, I'm getting in shape for the rematch with Leon. I'm getting up early, I'm gonna run with the moon. I'm gonna start hitting the table, do my push-up, do my sit-up, do whatever I have to do. I'm gonna take every kind of punch and do what I have to do, because I'm gonna win. I'm gonna be the first man ever to win the title for the third time. Nobody's ever done nothing like that. But then again, nobody's ever been anything quite like me. And I'm predicting that I'm gonna do it. Because I wanna be the heavyweight.
heavyweight champ for the third time, because I can do it, and you can do it too. No matter what you is in life, no matter what color, no matter what religion, it's never too late to start all over again. Never forget that, and you'll never forget me. I am the greatest of all time.